This is a HeadGum Podcast. Here's a question. What is care slash of? Care of is a monthly subscription vitamin service made from effective quality ingredients personally tailored for your exact needs. So I got an email and they were like, take this quiz. So I took a quiz, super easy, super fun, super chill, lots of pictures, truly kept me engaged, bright colors, good for me. And it literally designed the vitamins that I should be taking. And truly I read through it and I was like, this is right. I should be taking these vitamins. And there's tons of benefits to vitamins. So even if you try to maintain a healthy diet, guess what? It can be hard to get all those nutrients your body needs for long-term health. Vitamins also fill the important gaps that your body is missing from your diet. And get this, 90%. It's a lot of people. That's almost all the people. They fall short of the FDA recommended guidelines for at least one vitamin or nutrient. Also, the recommendations are built on clinical research with traditional medicine, with input from doctors and nutritionists. It includes individually wrapped packets with your specific vitamins and supplements for easy grab and go. Because you can't be shaking stuff out of bottles being like, what's this and the other thing? Nope, these are just wrapped up for you. And guess what? It costs about 20% less uh, when compared to similar brands at drugstores and local health food stores. So for 25% off your first month of personalized Care of Vitamins, visit careof.com and enter the promo code DATEME for 25%. I'm saying it again because you might have missed it, but you get 25 to 5% of your first month of personalized vitamins via Care of. Visit takecareof.com the promo code is date me what a treat you'll be swallowing big old vitamins in no time bye bye A podcast where I explore why I'm still single, even though I'll do butt stuff. My guest today is very funny. She's very talented. You know her from MTV's Awkward, Molly Tarlove. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for having me. It means the world. We've been meaning to get together for a very long time. I know. Just texting back and forth and it never came to fruition. Yes. (laughs) <laughs> and here we are. Like unsure of words today. Um, <laughs> you just got married, right? Yeah, a two year weeks ago? it'll be a year. Okay. How long were you together before you got married? Two years. So you've been together all together for three. Yeah. That's nice. And he's very handsome. Where did you meet Thank him? Thank you. I met him at brunch. Really? Yeah. We were at the same restaurant and mm-hmm. I knew a girl over at his table and I went over and said hi and I was like, in one of my phases, you know, where I'm like, <laughs> you know, I feel like you've seen me in some of my phases. A it's, little brash. Maybe. I don't know. But I was like, okay, that dude, like, he's going to find me later. <laughs> and then I put a hex on him, I guess. So you met at a restaurant. Yeah. You were like, hey, boy, hey. And then did you give him your number? Or no. Or he I, literally found you? Well, I, I like, hung out with them for a little while mm-hmm. after my party finished their grits <laughs> and left. <laughs> and I was like, more drinks for everybody? And then I was like, I'm going to see Foxcatcher. And he was like, oh, I saw that movie. It was good. And then I was like, well, I'm leaving to go see it because I have a strong, independent woman of substance and I have things to do. (laughs) Then I went and saw Foxcatcher and I was like, this dude was wrong. That movie was so (laughs) slow. Did you see it? No. This is with uh, Steve Steve Carell. Yeah. And there's wrestling. Channing Tatum and Mark Ruffalo. I did see some of it, but I I don't remember it. I mean, depending on who directed it and if they're a big fan of why won't you date me i loved it (laughs) but otherwise um and then when i got out i like he had found me on twitter 
So then did he DM you or were you like Then there was like a group forth? text started because we were all like, we made such funny jokes at brunch. We have to like have a TV show or something. So there was like a group text. And then I was like, all right, I'm done with this group text thing. So I like ghosted. You ghosted him? No, I ghosted, no, you the, ghosted group the group text. text. Okay. Yeah. And then how did he ask you out? What was your first date like? He was like, he was like, what are your... Oh, I remember this exactly. He was like, what are your thoughts on sugarfish? <laughs> and I was like, positive. Because, you know. I've never been to sugarfish. That's just sushi, but right? do you like sushi? I like cucumber avocado rolls and okay. avocado rolls. Okay, but like not at all. You don't like sushi? I've... Okay. Okay. It's okay, I'm gonna... cold and slimy. No, no, I know. But I will say because like I didn't grow up eating sushi like we both know not the best like yellowtail on the hudson river <laughs> um but i started eating fish like when i moved to la and sugar fish can have it's pretty good but you can't get a cucumber well you can get a cucumber avocado roll there i can yeah but like that's it then that's I'll your go. only safe choice do they have tempura no oh i know so it's like real authentic sushi no it's like it, i mean it's like they bring they they bring it out. It's like you order. It's called trust me, trust me light or trust me Nozawa. And there's what? like, or trust you can order a la, a la carte, which like my husband did at the time, which is like psychotic. Why is that psychotic? I don't understand sushi culture. This is not even regular sushi culture. It's like okay. sugar fish culture. So wait, a la carte. Doesn't a la carte just mean what does a la carte mean? Just like I want. Instead of going like, I'll take a trust me, because they're like, What's a trust, trust me? us. So they'll just make you things and then you just eat well, it? Well, it's the same thing. It's like two pieces of yellowtail, two pieces of salmon, two pieces of tuna, then like a crab hand roll and a toro hand roll. Edamame and sashimi to start. This is really, really <laughs> taking a hard left. <laughs> then what happened? Then did you guys immediately, were you immediately like, this is the man I want to marry no. and I love him? No. Okay. So we actually both... After we met, he asked me out, but we were both doing some traveling. Mm -hmm. You and I, I think, were in Miami together. Ah, yes. Um, It was Thanksgiving and then Miami. Mm -hmm. And then, so, and so we were, like, texting a lot that whole week or whatever. He, like, he, he, like, asked me for a picture of my dog for the background of his phone. How long had, had he been dating at that point? No, no, we hadn't even gone on a date. Didn't you find that frightening? I mean, no, of course not. <laughs> I would be like, well, why does she want a picture of my dog? I mean, he was like, Can But I... your dog is very cute. Thank you. But your dogs are very cute, too. Thank you. One of them's kind of mean. Uh-huh. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but, no, I mean, I don't know. It was something, like, there was something about him that I was like, oh, this dude, like, kind of gets it, which was surprising because, like, a lot of dudes don't, mm -hmm. you know? And whatever. It was just, like hard in the paint flirting you know what I mean mm -hmm. and um came back went on this date then we went and got a drink we went to birds and then we went and walked Franny my dog mm -hmm. and then he hugged me and then he came back in for the second hug mm -hmm. and uh, Franny started barking <laughs> And he left. And I was like, this dude's in love with me. Mm -hmm. And then he was like, hey, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. And I feel like we come from the same place. And, like, I just – I can't get into anything serious right now. And I'm like – Oh, no. Me scoozy. Like, we didn't even <laughs> you kiss. You kiss? He just hugged you twice. Yeah. And – um. I was like, okay, that's cool. Like, I just didn't want to. I don't. I don't want to. You're the one with my dog on the background of your phone. And he's like, we just like we vibe too much. And I was like, okay, whatever. It was just like another situation where like the dude can't hang, you know. Mm -hmm. And then like two and a half months later, um, we met up again, and I was very like, it was giving him the. Like, uh, kind of standoffish? Like, what yeah, are you doing? Yeah, it was, like, doing? trepidatious. But you know what? This is actually... I was withholding of my shining personality, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> like, he's like, hey, how are you? And I'm like, no question. Like, mm -hmm. like during the setting up the 
hang. I was like, I'm not answering any of your questions. Mm -hmm. I have to see what this deal is. So then I think that's smart. It's interesting when a dude is into you, but then says, oh, wait, uh, I have other things to take care of and I can't do this right now. And then they come back and they're like, actually, I do want to hang out with you. And, and it just it's a mixed signal. So I think it's smart to withhold a little bit. Yeah. Just be like, you can't have all of me again. Yeah. I already gave you a totally. lot of me and then you closed a door. And now you want to open it again. Right. And I actually like I say this and I would say this to you I say this to like my smart and funny friends like you know the saying like why would they buy the cow when they can get the milk for free mm -hmm. and it's about sex but like to my like friends that are amazing and smart and funny I'm like that is about your conversation you know what mm. I mean Cause I, and I'm not saying like we have to like play games with everybody but I'm kind of like you like you, they have to like earn a little bit of like the I mean, it's really fucking fun to, like, be texting with me for hours on end. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> like, of course a guy would just do that instead of, like, ask you to dinner. That, I think, is really good advice. Because I said it before on the podcast, but uh, I feel like texting creates false intimacy. Mm -hmm. And then I think if you're just texting a guy, then... It might get into his brain. He's like, I don't need to see her. I've been talking to her all day. I know. It's very odd because, like, we're supposed to think that, like, guys care about sex all the time. Mm -hmm. But I see it now. Like, all of my friends, like, these guys will literally just, like, carry on these, like, relationships over text with them for, mm -hmm. like, months. For months and months and months. It's insane. It's very, I guess it's, maybe men do it because you could do it to multiple women. Yeah. And like I keep, know. I mean, I think that like you know, it's nice to have like text pop up and whatever. So that might be entertaining, mm -hmm. I guess. And especially if you're, if it's like a good, like you get a little smile out of it. But yeah, I'm just like I, I don't. I mean, you don't go and do comedy for free, do you? Mm-hmm. You do? Yes. When? Uh, all the time. Okay, fine. All right, well, I mean, I get paid to do comedy, but like in LA, I'll do free shows. Okay. Because I'm but working on shit. You know what I mean. But I absolutely know what you mean. So, anyway. Um, so then we went on that, we met up again, and I was very trepidatious, but he made a joke that was funny. Mm -hmm. And so then I like softened up a little bit. And, um... And then he kept asking me out, like, constantly. And, like, four months after that day, like, to the day, he proposed to me. Wow. Yeah. So you were together for only four months before he proposed? Mm -hmm. But then your engagement was? Like, uh, over a year and a half. Oh, okay. Yeah. I like that. That's nice. Because four months seems sudden. I know. But, I don't know, a long engagement's kind of fun. Yeah. Because you're like, it's coming. We're going to do it. It was weird, though, because, I, like, there would be times where I'd be like, mm, this would be the time you would propose. <laughs> but, like, I was like, oh, fuck. It's like, but you already did it. Yeah. I'm like, I. he was like, I don't even remember when he was my boyfriend. And not because we've been together for so long. Mm -hmm. But because it was, like, I mean, he, he was my boyfriend three weeks after that first. And then, so he was my boyfriend for three months and a week. That's wild. I love it. Were you ever on dating apps or no? <sighs> Not the ones you think of these days. <laughs> but like what, were you on Craigslist? No, I was on J Date like yes! eight years ago. Yes! I w met up with a guy one time. Mm -hmm. It was not a match. <laughs> I didn't realize, but, like, I don't think the apps now, have, they probably do, but they have ones that are, like, they have, like, chats that are pre-programmed mm -hmm. that are, like, kind of funny, like, quippy. Oh, yeah. I don't think apps do that anymore. I think, like, probably Match or something does. Maybe. Um, so, J-Date would give you little things to say to people? Well, I, 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 I realized when I met up with him and I was like, how did that go so wrong that his, like first thing was like a oh so he sent you like a pre-written thing that was like cute and witty yeah and then he wasn't cute and witty yeah 
I see. Also, I was on J-Date for a minute. Really? <laughs> for a hot second. Did you go out with anyone from there? No. Everyone would be like, why are you here? <laughs> really? Like, All right. That's very rude. Well, that's another thing is like, I'm not religious and like, I'm married to like someone who is raised very Christian. Mm-hmm. And I didn't, I guess it, I guess coming from New York, I didn't realize that it was like actually a thing where people wanted <laughs> to meet Jews. <laughs> I, you know, I can't read very well. So. Are you Jewish? Yeah. But I didn't know that. I'm not, like, religious. Did you know Jews aren't white? <laughs> I, I don't know. I was so confused when people started saying that. When? I, this year. People are like, Jews aren't white. And I was like, wait, what? Because I grew up in Jersey around a ton of Jewish people. And I was I like, know. they're white people. But there are, like, there's, like, something, there are less Jews in the world than people in California. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You just like know half of them. That's so crazy to me because I grew up with so many Jewish I know. kids. And we had off for like all the Jewish holidays. And then when I talked to other people, they're like, no, we don't have Yom Kippur off. I was like, what? Yeah. How disrespectful. <laughs> what about the Jewish people there? Yeah. But I mean, whatever. I mean, it's a big because it's on it comes up on 23 and me. Jewish? Yeah. Like oh. Ashkenazi or Sephardic, which are like the two different Huh. Yeah. I didn't know that. This is wild. I truly just thought it was a religion. It's very complicated. So you've done 23 in me? I have yet to do it because I you have to like spit. You have to have not have had anything for half an hour, which is like really hard for me. And except when I first wake up, but I'm so thirsty when I first wake up. You don't think it's weird to spit in a cup and send it off to a lab and then they're like, here's what you are. Um, no. I think it's so crazy. I don't know. And then I your like... phone knows where you are all the time. I, I just know. want to give people more information. Well, I get mad because my phone sometimes doesn't recognize my face. And I'm like, <laughs> so I had like buffalo chicken deep into the night. <laughs> Sue me. Let me in. You know? Do you have a 10? Yeah. So do you, you open it with your face? Yeah. See, I don't want Apple to scan my face. Okay, but like, let me ask you why. This is what I don't get. Because there are a lot of instances where I'm like, yo, I wish we had the contents of that person's phone earlier. True. Well, I mean, I'm not like hiding anything. I'm not going to like do bad things. Oh, Nicole, we know you are not hiding anything. <laughs> I truly just put it all out there. Yeah. I want you to look at my Tinder profile. Okay. Um, and then if you're listening to this podcast and you want to see my Tinder profile, you can go to my Facebook page. And I believe the link is in the description. Yeah. You're okay. welcome. The infamous dildo. <laughs> wow. I'm surprised. No one has mentioned the fact that not only are you holding a giant dildo, but your face, your shirt has a mouth <laughs> across your boob. Yeah, it's a monster shirt for a monster dick. Okay, so this is the first. Mm -hmm. How do I do this? Scroll. Uh, swipe. Okay, I got a fat ass, so if you're not into it, bye, 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 whatever. I like people with a sense of humor because life is too fucking long not to laugh. I like that, Nicole. Thank you. DTF, down to figure skate or fuck or farm or fly a kite, whichever is easier. Okay. So, oh, this picture's cute with the cactuses and the pink. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm sitting against a pink wall and I'm wearing overalls. Also phallic. That You think that's phallic? Well, the cactuses are phallic. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, if you're going to mm -hmm. open with a big dildo and then you're going to mm -hmm. have... I'm just saying. I gotta let them know that I like penises. Can I ask you why? Because I think it'd be pretty obvious to them if <laughs> they you came up on their shirt. Um, I don't know. I think they're silly. I have like a penis earring that I wear every yeah. day. Uh, I just think they're so silly. I mean, this one of you and um, it's not Charlie. Clyde. Clyde. My dog Clyde. I feel like you started to like Clyde more than Charlie and I'm like upset. <laughs> I feel like Charlie's like the Jan of the house. He kind of is. Oh. My dog Charlie. And he's so he's, sweet. He's very sweet and he's so nice. 
I just love that Clyde is mean and <laughs> he's tiny and mean sometimes. Did you but meet him on he's Tinder? So nice. I did meet my dog Clyde on Tinder. I was swiping and I was like, oh my god, I match with this dog and I think he's like kind of cute. Mm-hmm. No, I rescued him from a north uh, a house in North Hollywood. His dick is way smaller than this, though. I Clyde's, think. it's so tiny. Yeah. Um, I mean, I you know what I'm gonna say. Uh huh. I don't like it. I know. I think I have. Um, I think that I'm different from your other guests because. Correct me if I'm wrong, mm-hmm. because I know you've you've had a lot of people who you're very close to on the show, but. When we met, like, it wasn't, like, a comedy thing? No. Because it was. I mean, sort of, because, like, but we weren't, like, doing comedy no. together. So I feel like we haven't, like, I think you're really funny. I know you're really funny. But it's not like we, that's where the basis of our mm-hmm. friendship came from. You know what I mean? Yes. So I feel, I don't know. I'm just, like. We know you like dick because if it's if I'm a dude and I'm swiping mm-hmm. and it comes up. But also it's like so you like you like big dicks. Mhm. And that's the first thing <laughs> that you want people to know about you. I mean, you look very pretty in this picture. Thank you. Um and you are very pretty and I like this relaxed curl that's going on now thank you it's a little my wig's a little ratty but but what do you want (sighs) what do i want yeah well okay i keep going back and forth between i just want someone to hook up with on the regular and i want a fulfilling relationship right now i'm not working so now i'm I'm of the mind where i want a nice fulfilling relationship okay so let's talk about like one night stands for real because Mm -hmm. you talk about them a lot on your podcast i know that your character on loosely exactly nicole has them a lot Mm -hmm. do you have one night stands yes i don't as much anymore just because I think I've just become very tired of strange dick. Yeah. And I was working a lot, so I wasn't drinking as much. Yeah. So, like, if I'm drinking and go to a bar, it's very easy to find a dude and bring him home. Yeah. Or if I'm drinking, I can swipe and just find a a guy and be like, are you out already? Let's uh, meet up or whatever. Uh, So then when I was working, I wasn't doing that. And then it's been very tough to get back into that mindset and to just do it. Because then also I should be writing and doing things and I'm not and I feel weird about that. So to answer your question, no, I'm not having one night stands right now. And did you enjoy having one night stands? I think I enjoyed them as they were happening. But then the next day I'd be like, huh. Yeah. That was, it's like, um... Like when you eat things with lots of sodium where you're like, this is good now. And then you're immediately hungry after because yeah. sodium's not good for you. I think that's what a one night stand is. It's like a bunch of Chinese food. And your iPhone 10 doesn't recognize your face. <laughs> well, I don't have a 10. I have, I think the eight. Yeah. I just can't get with the no home button. It's hard. I really don't like that. No. Yeah. Why would they do that? I don't know. They were like, you need more screen. And um, I don't need more screen. I know. We can but that tell. camera's very nice. I think it's the same as yours. But, okay. So, I mean, what's the question here? Like, I like this. I like people with a sense of humor because life is too fucking long not to laugh. Mm-hmm. It's a little genuine. Mm-hmm. It's very genuine. Life is so long. Right. And people are like, life is short. I don't know what life they're talking about. Yeah. Like a year is a hundred, uh, three hundred, wow, three hundred and sixty-five days. That's such. That's so many days. Yeah. Um, the question is, do you like my profile? Do you hate my profile? I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Okay. I think you deserve better than this profile. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Depending okay. on what you're looking for, and I'm not saying that a dude. I'm not saying that that the guy, like a guy that is. Uh, that a, I'm not saying that a guy isn't worthy of you if they. Okay, hold on. 
I'm not saying that the guy who will be worthy of you won't appreciate like this picture or mm -hmm. something, but I just don't think that you need to th put it throw give it to them right now you know what i mean fair i yes. heard you say on a podcast that like it weeds out a lot of people mm -hmm. because like there are people who will be able to see through it and see that that's funny mm -hmm. but i also think it would weed out some people like l look i think like p women who are funny and who have their shit t seemingly together in some senses and you know can afford to live on their own and mm -hmm. whatever are are a little scary to begin with and it's not to say that like a man who's like scared of that is a piece of shit it, like i do think that like it's you, you're already weeding out people by being like a strong funny woman mm -hmm. with a good career so i just think you should could give some more men a chance to know you without this maybe even being like your first picture fair um also maybe maybe it's like a defense mechanism where i'm like because i did take the picture away for or i put it like fourth or something a while ago and i wasn't matching with people so then i was getting antsy and right. i was like well i want to match with people so I, I have to put it back up yeah but it is truly as of late attracting not good people yeah like uh this one guy i matched with him maybe oh two weeks ago and we had been talking and we were having a very nice conversation i was like okay he's kind of cute i like him his name is weird uh it was like a very strange name but like like a made-up name it was like <laughs> I won't say it, but it was such a, it was a weird name. It was like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh. it was just like a lot of it was letters. All consonants. Basically. <laughs> and there was no vowels, maybe one vowel. And uh, I was like, oh, this is great. Maybe I'll meet up with him or whatever. And then immediately there was like a hard turn. And then he was like, when do you want to fuck? And I was like, oh, not, not ever. Right. I don't want to fuck you. I'd rather go out on a couple dates with somebody. Yeah. I don't know. I just get so sad sometimes. I know. And truly, I'm like, maybe there is nobody out there for me. Maybe I will just be alone for the rest of my life. Well, you won't be. But maybe I will be. I've been alone for 32, 30, we just, I just went over this, uh, 31 years. So did you take this screenshot of your profile three years ago? Cause hmm? it says 28. Oh, uh, I can't change it on Facebook. <laughs> okay. They won't let me. And originally I had said it on Facebook as younger because I didn't want people to know how old I was yeah. because sometimes casting directors will be like, they're too old. And it's like, but they don't look that old. And they're like, well, they are 35. And it's like, yeah. well, let's not put age there. So then I don't know. IMDb put my age up so it doesn't matter anymore. Okay. Is your age on the internet? Um, uh, there's been like people like talk shit about me because they think I put a fake age on the internet. I never did that, <laughs> and somebody like di somebody insists on putting a fake age, and like my dad even went in to change it once, and I was like, mm -hmm. "Dad, for real?" And he's like, "What?" And they were like, "No, you're wrong." And he was like, "I was there." Um, so like, so does the internet say you're older or younger? younger and it uh. like fluctuates <laughs> and so i could tell like people like probably from my college are like trying to get in there because they'll it'll like go to the wrong age for like a little while mm -hmm. and i'm like oh you just like are guessing interesting i know i take mine off wikipedia routinely really I just do yeah i don't want it i don't want people to be like she's too old for something yeah it's really annoying I know. That's and it's something men older. don't have to deal with. I know. Men can literally be dead dumpsters and they'll prop them up and put them in movies. Like Weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> yeah, there's a literal movie about <laughs> how a dead man is better than anything else. Yeah. Oh. Um, they really should have cast a woman in that part. Um, but I do you think that you have d's up for defenses i do i put up walls and i oh wait before we talk about my walls we gotta take a break and we're back 
what a dream. <laughs> um, I do think I put up walls. Um, I do think I'm actually very scared to actually be in a relationship. Um, because people in my life die. <laughs> I have yeah. like a lot of death in my life. So I guess sometimes in my brain, I think if I actually find someone and fall in love with them, that they'll just leave me. Mm -hmm. And then I'll just be in the same predicament that I'm in now, except I'll be like, he's dead. Right. I'm not looking for him. I found him and now he's dead. Right. So maybe that's because I do think me being insistent on not changing this photo yeah. is a little bit of a wall. Yeah. Because then I'm just like, I don't know. They don't get it. Right. I know. And I, I, I mean, like, I'm like abrasive and aggressive. And like, that was like a funny thing that I would do to men. I mean, I like still do it to my husband, but he's <laughs> married to like legally bound. So he can't do anything. But, um, you know, and then it would be like, oh, uh, even if they were, if I was going to get rejected, it would be because like, I send the, sent them like, you're a monster shrimp emoji, mm -hmm. you know? Um, which it was a text I sent to my husband before he was <laughs> my husband or boyfriend. Um, when I got out of my last relationship, I went like super hard the other way where I was like, someone would ask me to coffee and they'd be like, do you drink coffee? And I'm like, yeah, but I like dinner better. Do you eat dinner? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I was like, I will be taken to dinner. Mm -hmm. Like I was like, I'm all about that D. D is for dinner, <laughs> you know? Um, and I was like, like, that's, I, I was like, this is how women should be treated, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and it was interesting. I mean, men are scared. They're scared. But I also think women are scared. I think yeah. everyone's no, scared. No, I do too. And I mean, I think that like, that is the thing is like, what, what do you want? Like, what what is your ideal situation? Like, I, I, a person who's not going to die in the near future. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Someone who's healthy, sturdy, won't die on me. Um, I, I think in my brain, the perfect man would be attractive to me, which doesn't mean attractive to a lot of people because yeah. I do love uh, chubby men and sometimes people don't find that attractive. I do. Um... Because I don't want like a thin, thin man. But then also I don't want to say I don't want something when maybe that's what I need. I don't know. I just want someone who I think appearance aside is just financially sound, uh, working, and treats me well. Yeah. I think that's what I want. Yeah. I'm like, this is going to be so gross to all your listeners. So maybe say edit that. it out. But like this is what was like – I was like, I was so scared of being seen, but like, that's all like, like that is how I feel like about my husband. Like he sees me. And so like everything mm -hmm. like before that, I was like trying to n like not be seen. Like that's like, I'd like say this shit or I, you know what I mean? Like do mm -hmm. this shit. And I, I mean, is that something you feel like you relate to? What do you mean by be seen? Like being vulnerable? Yeah, I guess being I'm not very vulnerable. Yeah. This podcast is the most vulnerable I've ever been. Um, yeah, I guess I just I get scared that maybe someone will get to know me and be like, oh, and reject you. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Now that I know all of it, I don't want it. Right. And I've had guys be like, oh, you got a lot on your plate when I've been open with them. Yeah. And that. Fe that doesn't feel good. That doesn't feel good I when know. someone's like, you're truly dealing with a lot and you come with a lot of baggage and issues. Yeah. You're just like, okay, doesn't everybody? Yeah. Why is that a thing that you felt necessary to say to me? Well, that is like not the dude. You're right. And I it also sucks. have been I've been bad with trying to date lately. I I think I've given up. <laughs> <laughs> really? A little bit. I will That's swipe good, on though. Tinder and I'll swipe on Bumble and I'm on Raya and okay Cupid. I'll go on them periodically, but I don't have a drive for it right now. Yeah. And I think it's because like last summer I had a chunk of time before I started writing my show 
And in my head, I was like, this is the time. You're going to be writing your show. You'll shoot it. You're going to be here. So you might as well start dating aggressively now. So maybe you'll find someone. And since you're not traveling, you can like actually have like the start of a relationship. And I was like very excited about that. And then that fizzled out. And then I started shooting. And those were like 16 hour days. Yeah. And they were long. And I didn't want to date anyone then. And then I wrapped. And now I'm just like waiting, like waiting to hear if it's going to be renewed or canceled or whatever is going to happen to it. So I, I think now I'm just tired. Yeah. And I don't have it in me. Because dating is like a job. You have to talk to people and small talk is hard and you have to get to know someone but and then they're going to say something stupid. Huh? I said big talk is harder. <laughs> I, I guess sound terrible. Big talk is harder. But like, small um, talk is hard and big talk is hard. Yeah. We were talking about like actual things. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I want, Molly. Um, also, like I've never had a dick, but <laughs> I don't know what it would be like to be a guy. Like, I don't know if guys know, like, oh, I have a huge like if they have like a nice sized penis. I think men know their dick size. Okay, but like, what if someone has like an average size penis? You don't want to go no, out with No, it will be fine. And then also, you don't even have a penis. If I end up with a woman, right? She won't have one, or maybe she will. I don't know what I'm gonna end up with. Yeah, because I'm very open to to anybody. I don't, I don't know. I I refuse open to, to anybody and nobody. Truly, yes. In my brain, my brain is like, ooh, the door's open for anybody to walk through. But then in my other brain, it's like, no, it's closed and you can't have anybody because you need to guard yourself so you don't get hurt. Right. But uh, yeah, um, I guess dicks aren't as important as I make them out to be. Yeah. I mean, look, I think like it's really funny and like, mm -hmm. yeah. But here's the thing is that a dude who sees your profile, whatever, they can see you talking about it on Conan. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, like, yeah. you don't need to double down on the dick. Are you sure that's not uh, the hill I want to die on? <laughs> just being like, I just want a big dick. That's all I want. <laughs> uh, but then also, I feel like you should know it's kind of a joke. Maybe, yeah. But then again, I don't know. Uh, most of the people on Tinder don't do comedy, and I mean, I think okay, I have a not. I I was swiping for my friend the other day mm -hmm. on Bumble, and then we went on Tinder, and Tinder is like a a cavernous it's pit gross. of hell. It's gross. I didn't swipe yes once, and it wasn't <laughs> even me. It wasn't even for me. Uh huh. But the issue I have with Bumble is, uh, men do not respond to me. Yeah. That. I messaged a man on Bumble, maybe this was two weeks ago, and he was a chef, and I wrote, I'm a terrible chef. Maybe one night I'll make you dinner so you just have a change. <laughs> <laughs> Eat some bad food. And then he didn't respond. Yeah. Uh, that's the issue I have on Bumble, where I have to initiate the conversation, right. but then men can choose not to respond. That's like, they are bizarre to me why why people would want to match on Bumble specifically because it has that like timer. Yeah. It's, and it makes me anxious. But it's also like, I kind of get like the heebie-jeebies from like guys' profiles anyway. The whole online dating thing is, it's weird because it's, you're taking everything at face value. Yeah. You're just reading empty words that don't have meaning because you can't hear the voice behind them. And it's all very superficial. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a shopping for apples. You're looking for things without bruises. Yeah. That's a bad analogy. But I mean... I mean <laughs> Well, you don't know if the apple's good until you bite it. No, it's a great analogy. It was a perfect analogy. Uh, yeah, online dating sucks, but then in real life dating, I don't know how to do that. Yeah. Okay. LA well, what is do you clicky? If you yeah. go to a bar, it's very hard to like find someone fun to talk to who's not like, "Excuse you, I'm talking to all of my friends." Yeah. And you're like, "Okay, I'm the asshole." Yeah. I mean. I would say, well, first of all, like, what do you have hobbies besides working? No, not really. Well, I was roller skating. 
But that, <laughs> that's a very, it's, I was doing private lessons, so I was alone. Oh my God, that is so cool. <laughs> but then do you go to like Moonlight Roller Way and like. I have, but I'm very bad, so I don't yeah. roller skate. So I just like literally sit there and watch my friends. No, I'm so bad at roller skating. I can't skating. do it. No, me either. It's so hard. Yeah. Um, but I can't join like a soccer league because I leave town often and I don't run. You keep saying you leave town. Where do you go? Touring. Okay. I go and I do shows at colleges for kids who either enjoy it or hate it. Yeah. There's literally no in between. <laughs> yeah. So it's like I'm gone a lot of weekends and then I work a lot. So I don't know. But I was more like asking about hobbies, not to like meet people, oh. but to like have a full life outside of it so that oh, when it yeah. like what if a something comes around, it's not like the full black or white situation of it. Mm -hmm. It's just like. Sure. I swim a lot. Where do you swim? In my pool. Later. At a pool? I have a pool. Oh, right, right, right. You can come over and swim if you I like. I want to. You're in that pool every damn day. I I'm truly so jealous. love swimming. I know. I was, I'm like, she's, I'm like, it's kind of chilly out today. And she's uh -huh. at that damn pool. Uh -huh. I will swim when it's ice cold out. Yeah. I just like it. I think I'm making up for lost time because there was a, a very long chunk in my life where I didn't swim because I was like, what if someone sees me in this bathing suit? Now yeah. I'm like, I don't give one shit. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know. Molly. Nicole. If you weren't married, and yeah. if you were into women, would yeah. you date me? Well, uh, that's what I'm saying about, like, the Nicole I met. Tell me, like, tell me if you think I'm wrong that okay. I'm having this, like, observation that I feel like I met, I, like, met you in a different way, so I feel like I know you... Mm -hmm. differently like you to me aren't like like funny comedy isn't the first thing mm -hmm. that i would use to describe you you don't think i'm funny oh my god ha! molly nicole no it's fine do you I'm know what i mean though well when we met we were doing we were, what was like it? Like the Upfronts or something? Yeah. Maybe we met at Upfronts or maybe it was I like. I mean, we like had real conversations. Yes. Far before we like. Well, ever... yeah. Like you are a comedic actress and you are inherently funny, but like we don't do like bits. Yeah. We're not like, uh, when I get together with comedy people, it's like bit, 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 bit. And no real conversations happen sometimes. Yeah. So when we met, we were having like real conversations. Yeah. So I guess, yeah, you did meet me as someone who could have a conversation and be a real person. Yeah. Where sometimes I present myself as a person who doesn't know how to have a conversation and only wants to be like, tee hee hee, let's be funny. Yeah. And I do that too. It's like, that's like the scariest, you know, when it's happening and you're, you're in your head, you're like, stop it, you psycho. Mm -hmm. This is horrible. And you just can't stop. <laughs> and you're like, what's the deal with Apple? Mm -hmm. um, but so th I would, I, if I were a lesbian yeah. and, I were, and I wasn't married, yeah. I would date the girl that I met who Aww. had like her heart a little open, you know? Molly, thank you. Yeah. That makes me happy. Sometimes people are like, no, but it's okay. You can't make everyone date you. Well, I mean, I'm not a lesbian and I am married. So, yes. so we will never date. No. Get it through your head. Yes. Finally. I get it. Finally. I mean, I did lure you here to try to make you break <laughs> up with your husband and date me. No. Where'd you go on your honeymoon? Um, We went to Hawaii first and then we went to europe like a few months how ago. long was your honeymoon well no we didn't go from hawaii to oh. europe there were like months <laughs> in between so it was like we went to hawaii right after because we were going to get married in hawaii but then we didn't is he an actor as well or no no what he's he an do? editor he edits oh movie trailers. fun 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 so that's do you like that you guys don't do the same thing oh my god yes but it's fun that he edits trailers so, like, he knows acting, kind of. So, like, he understands what you talk about, right? Um, no. I don't know. I mean, 
it's like really annoying because first of all, I'm like, you're so hot. It'd be so easy for you to get parts. Like I'm like jealous of you. <laughs> And I wish you could act at all because we like try to I like try to run lines with him. And I'm like, can mm -hmm. you speak English? Like, what is going on? <laughs> um, and I'm like, this would just be so easy for you if you could just like speak this sentence as if it was like coming out of a that human. It is very funny when people can't read lines like a human being. Yeah, it's so weird. And I'm like, why do you get like, why are you so nervous sitting here in our bed <laughs> that you thought the word like the said like like tree stump or something Ugh, that's very funny my sister can't run lines with me she's very bad at it oh, she'll be so like and then he said he wanted to go <laughs> to the store she's like, doing it all in iambic pantheon why <laughs> can't you just say it like you normally speak yeah um know. so oh yeah well um no he doesn't really get, he doesn't really get it because oh, okay. he like edits like like big movies mm -hmm. so or trailers um but he's like learning i like i said he grew up like so christian he like mm -hmm. did not see a movie before 2002 really yeah it was like Arabud or beethoven and that was it that's wild i know i know he that's was crazy. he was like the drummer of the jonas brothers yeah wait he was the drummer of the jonas brothers yeah, like they have a drummer, you know, because like they're all like. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they don't do that anymore, but. I mean, I don't really know anything about the Jonas Brothers. I just know that Nick Jonas is so fucking hot. Okay. They're ooh, from New Jersey, ooh. though. Are they? Yeah. Well, maybe I'll be like, hey, Nick, I'm also from New Jersey. Yeah. Do you want to like just talk about the East Coast and fuck? Mm. <laughs> um, so he's like learning. Like now, it's so weird because he knows no movies before, yeah. and now he like has seen every movie that's come out in the last three years. Mm -hmm. um, but I ha am I like make him watch old movies, so he literally thinks like Lily Tomlin is like the biggest star on the planet. He, she is. She's perfect. I know. Like he's like, oh, Working Girl, awesome. Like, can we watch Working Girl again tonight? Or like, that's adorable. <laughs> yeah. So he. It's funny. <sighs> well, you found a good one. Molly, yeah. do you have anything you want to plug? Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> There's not one thing that you want people to, uh, like, anything, nothing? Mm, no, you know, I closed my Etsy shop down. And you had an Etsy shop? I'm telling you, Nicole, I found some hobbies. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, you know, whatever. I don't think I was, like, very entertaining, so. I think you were very entertaining. <laughs> Molly, just tell people anything. Oh, my God. Um. Okay, I have a really cute dog. <laughs> Her name is Franny. You have a great Instagram. They oh, can follow you. you on Instagram. You can follow me on you Instagram. follow her on Twitter. At Molly Tarlove. You can follow me on Twitter <laughs> at Molly Tarlove. I feel like I'm like abusing you. You're like, fine, I no, guess. No, it's just, you know, here. it's not, it's like so, it's just, it's so, I, I honestly, right now, I mean, I, I have a pilot right now that I wrote that, whatever. <laughs> I mean, how many times has, has that come through this microphone? Um, but I truly feel like, a housewife who doesn't cook or clean. <laughs> Honestly, that's where I'm at right now. I'm like, I'm in my house and I'm like, I, I like find things to fill my days. Yeah. I like get my nails done a lot. I mean, I literally ha like, did you see the jean jacket I embroidered? It's really cute. Right? How long did that take you? Just a few hours. You should sell denim jackets that are embroidered. I, it's like, you know, the selling business isn't for me because I don't like package things. Yeah, and send you them package out. them and ship them. It's mm -hmm. a whole thing. It's a lot. Well, anyway, thank you for listening to Why Won't You Date Me. Uh, Molly, thank you so much for being on my podcast. Thank you, Nicole. Truly, I love you. What a dream. If you like it, please subscribe, leave a comment, review it, say something nasty to me, or just say something nice and I'll read it. Bye bye.
That was a HeadGum Podcast.